welcome back to my channel. This is Jessica with DIY by Faith. I have a huge, huge Valentine's haul. Honestly, it makes me sick to see how much stuff I bought. I do love to decorate my house for every single season. Tell me something, are you guys one of those people who like to decorate for every single season or is that just me? I don't know, every single holiday, every single season, I'm pretty sure every month I'm always changing my decor up. It just makes me really, really happy and I love to do it. And Dollar Tree helps me do it at a low budget cost, right? <laughs> so um, I use that as an excuse, you know? But hey, it makes me feel good and I love to decorate my house and I love it when people come in and they're like, where'd you get this? I'm like, Dollar Tree. I just get so excited, you guys. So Dollar Tree right now has everything coming out that is Valentine's. I am telling you now that once they get it, if it's something cute, it's gone. Um, I have a ton of products here that I had gotten and I'm pretty sure that so many of them are high end. They're going to be going quickly, quickly, quickly. So just make sure to pick these up. Okay. So I don't even know where to start because my entire table is just like covered right in front of me. Um, but I think one of my favorite items I'm going to start off with, and those are these beaded decors. These are amazing inside of tier trays. And I will be doing a DIY video. I did one for Christmas, um, for DIYing a Christmas tier tray. Um, but I will be making one for Valentine. So this one has like a white heart and white and red beads and it says XOXO and it does have a twine hanger. They had a couple of these to choose from. So if that's not your, your colors, I'm sure that one of these will. And be mind, be mine, excuse me. And it is a red heart with white writing, super cute. And then this one has more of that rustic farmhouse brown look and it says true love. Um, and it does have the red and white beads again and the twine hanger. So these are super cute and super high end. Um, I know there's supposed to be a pink one um, that's coming out because I've seen other YouTubers um, put that on their channel, but I have not received that one yet in my store, um, but you better believe that I'll be getting it as soon as it comes in. So another one of my favorites are these six count of string lights. These came out even when our Christmas stuff was still there and they're these glittery pink um, light up balls and um, they're for indoor use only. You cannot put these outside, but how stinking cute would these be in like a little centerpiece, centerpiece on your table? Um, I'm really, really excited to use those. Um, and I think that's another one of my favorite products. Maybe I just need to say that about all Dollar Tree. I don't know, I just love it all. <laughs> Um, I also picked up these adorable gift boxes. Okay, so um, they're both the same size, but they do have some smaller ones and medium, but I chose the large for a reason. So this one's got hearts on it, says XOXO on the top, and on the side says XOXO. And then I picked up this one that says XOXO on the top and it says Happy Valentine's Day. And on the side, it just has like this generic kind of pattern. Um, what I love about these, I do not use these just, for, I mean, you could put lotions, you could put anything you want in here, uh, but I will be doing a DIY showing you how to make like, um, like a candy tree inside of here where you use like the sticks and you have the candies coming out. Um, and it, they're gonna be super cute. I may make one for fruit, we have to see, but I will be showing you how I DIY these boxes for gifts for my loved ones. I also picked up these adorable little canisters. These could be used for cookies. This is a light pink and it says love all over it. It has hearts. Um, and then this one also has hearts all over it and X's and O's and is a darker pink. So it does have a handle and the lid just kind of pops off. It does have the little rubber on the top. Um, so that way it stays in very, very tightly. Um, you can use these for cookies and pop a bow on the top. You know, the sky's the limit. But what I'll be doing is probably taking the lids off and um, popping the sides off and using this as a base for florals. Um, we'll have to see. I don't know 100% yet what I'm going to do with it, uh, but I'm excited to find out. Talking about florals, you guys, they have got some great ones. They have every color imaginable, but I wanted these really, really dark roses. These are so pretty um, to go with these adorable huge white roses that I found. Um, these are a dollar a piece, but they're very high end. They do have a little bit of glitter. They are long stem. They are absolutely gorgeous. And what I'm gonna do is I picked up, and I'll show you guys in a DIY how I do this. I picked up this galvanized bucket with the twine wrapped around the top, and I will be cutting these down to make a bouquet all together. The big white ones will obviously be in the middle and some pink ones um, dispersed, and to make a beautiful centerpiece for my table. So 
I'm excited to show you guys that DIY. Um, I'm gonna have stuff falling everywhere, you guys. <laughs> so just ignore when I start putting it here. I know it's gonna look like a mess, but there is so much here, it is crazy. Um, so the next thing is I wanna kinda start with some of the decor. Um, so like I said, I will be doing a tiered tray. I think that this would be super cute. If you if you push on this, it's not plastic or anything, it's like a foam and it does have like, um, uh, glitter on top of it but this right here is more like uh what is the word I'm looking for like the stuff you put on the Christmas tree like garland uh, but this is really really cute and they did have this in a red as well I also picked up these beautiful pink hearts I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm going to keep them on the stick but I got the pink and the red but I think I will be using these inside of my candy buckets and the things that I decide to make for my friends and my family and then I got this super adorable little galvanized mail um, right here. And it's got a red heart on it and a red bow. It does have a hole in the center. So if you want to use it that way, but this is another thing I'll be using inside of my um, tray. So anything that you hear me say that I'm getting it for my tray, if you have one, make sure to pick it up. In that video, I'll be also showing you if you do not have a tier tray, how to design one using Dollar Tree items. Um, and they are legit you guys like I'm, I'm serious they're super cute and you're gonna love them so i also got this love mail frame and it's a pink frame it's got like a glitter background with some beautiful i'm sorry about the light you guys there's beautiful mail inside there um it's not too big i would say probably about a five by five or something like that super cute and I picked up some stickers and things like that inside of the crafting section. This is not all in Crafter Square. Some of it is, uh, but most of it is inside the uh, decor itself for Valentine's. I picked up these little wooden stickers. Um, these are things that I like to use on my DIYs. And I got some felt stickers as well um, so what these are really really good for the felt stickers they do have a sticky back uh, but i do use hot glue look at my video from christmas where i did a no sew pillow i probably will show it again using valentine's stuff uh, but all you have to do is glue some of these uh, felt stickers on there and create a beautiful valentine pillow um, just to make it so much more simple so you don't constantly have to go out and buy designer pillows. I make them like that all the time. And if you guys didn't see the video, it's super easy. It's using two of the Dollar Tree um, dinner mats. Um, and then you just have to stick those on. Super easy. I got these from the Crafter Square. You guys have seen me use these before for my stocking tags. Um, these are the heart shapes though. And they are chalkboard tags with jute cord. And I'll be using this for some of my DIYs as well. And then, you guys, look how beautiful these are. So this one right here says, my love, and one says, be mine, with the red. Adorable, I love these. I probably will also be putting one of these inside of my tier tray, so make sure you pick up one that matches your decor. But these are stunning and very high end. So if you guys have not heard, the Dollar Tree is going up in price. It'll be changing from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five. Um, I think that no later than April for all the stores. A lot of stores up north have already changed their prices and they're already at a dollar twenty-five. But our stores are still a dollar. So I would pick up everything now while you can. You definitely don't want to miss it. I also got these galvanized hearts. If you are a gnome lover, you are going to love these. They also have a jute um, string to hang them up, but they're just a galvanized heart. They got a little twine um, ribbon at the top. Um, and then they have this one that says, I love you with the gnome holding a heart. And then this one with the set of three gnomes. So I love these. I highly recommend, especially if you have like a uh, farmhouse kind of look about your house to kind of have that galvanized look. Um, my house definitely is modern farmhouse. I love to decorate um, in that and galvanize is definitely something I go for, including the twine. I also got this beautiful hanger right here. Um, it is another piece of mail that looks like it's open and it has a heart that comes out of it and it says, follow your heart and it just sticks right in there so you can kind of put it however it is that you want it and it comes in and out love this you know what on every one of my videos my cat is doing something crazy like i filmed the second video before this and my one cat's giving herself a bath on the back of my couch every time i film they do something and now they're over there fighting underneath my christmas tree because they want to be under the christmas tree so now they're fighting 
So if y'all hear anything, just ignore it. That's what it is. <laughs> it's not my stomach growling, I promise. Um, I also picked up this galvanized truck. It says, be mine. And it has this beautiful love sign here. I will not be keeping the hanger on there, but you know what? If you wanna do that, that's perfectly fine. But I will be using it just like this inside of my tear tray. They also had, I believe, a pink uh, bug mobile. So if you like that, definitely go for that. Um, also, I wanted to show you when I did the gnomes, I just forgot, I picked up these little um, gnomes. Um, I believe that they consider these to be a floral pick. Um, I will not be using them as a floral pick. The pick will be coming off. I'll be using that for a different DIY, but I will be using these adorable gnomes. And I found these cute little gnome plushes and I'm gonna be putting these in my gifts as well um, for my friends and family. So I picked up quite a few of those. Gnomes go so fast, so if you see them, get them. And I also picked up this adorable little teddy bear. Um, I just think that my friend's little girls would absolutely adore that. Um, I have some bags and if you haven't looked already, also in my Christmas video from before, I have where I take a frame and I cut out um, the bags that they have at the Dollar Tree and I put it inside the frame to make wall art. So I did pick this up for a wall art. I did pick up some of the tissue paper that they had. Um, I picked up two of those, super cute. They got hearts on white and then some pink paper. <laughs> They're still fighting, you guys. This is crazy. And then she's gonna go give herself a bath again because she's all upset about things. She's going crazy. I got like zoomy cats at this time of night. Um, I also picked up these little poppets. If your store has the poppets right now, make sure you get them. This is um, not for Valentine's Day, but this is the heart shape. And I thought it would be great for a little kid for Valentine's Day. Um, so my daughter will love that. They also had these beautiful ceramic um, heart, uh, what do they even call this? I don't know, it just says decor, but like, you know, the little stepper or whatever. I use these inside of my tear tray to give height. Um, to things that I'm going to use. This obviously is not something I'm going to put on there, but I just wanted to show you. So see how it just makes it taller to give height and something in a tier tray. Um, they did have that in pink and red, I believe. And I did get these, which are LED lights. I did pick up some not long ago that I showed you in my haul, uh, but these are the white ones. The other ones were more like a yellow flicker. These are larger and they do have the scallop tops. Let me see if I can pull out the little thing and get it to to show you so you can see that it lights up in the top and it's got that flicker look about it these are great for centerpieces we're not allowed to have candles um, we live inside of an apartment and it was in our lease that there is absolutely no candles um, so i buy those all the time and talking about lights they have led lights um, that you can also use for your centerpieces and for valentine's day i don't know if you can see it well but these are like the pink ones and i also picked up the white iridescent ones i use these at christmas uh, but you really could use these at any holiday and then they have the pink ones so that way you can have your valentine decor light up pink um, they also have beautiful ribbon, uh, but my favorite was this felt ribbon. Um, every time around Christmas, I always try to uh, decorate my um, cabinets inside of my kitchen, and Valentine's Day is no different. Uh, we get Valentine's cards in the mail, um, so what I do is I stick this velvet ribbon, um, and I just alternate it on my um, cabinets, and then we post the cards on there, or, you know, the kids will get like the little cards from school and things like that. And I'll let them post those up there as well. So that is a lot of fun. If you love mason jars, and I know I do, they have this um, all you need is love mason jar. Super cute. Great for a tear tray. Okay. Make sure to pick these up. They have a whole bunch of them. Don't feel like you have to just get the ones that I have. Um, Crafter Square, this is not a Valentine's thing, but I, I need you to see it because we're going to make a craft out of it. So I don't want you to go and just buy Valentine's and not do, you know, get something else we can make a craft out of. But in Crafter Square, they have these long boards with this twine jute. Okay. I am going to be making a sign out of this without the hanger over here using these love signs that they had. Kind of hard to see in the camera, but it says love. They have them in different sizes. It's a five piece. Um, and we will be putting one on here to make a jute sign for anywhere in your house. And it's going to look high end and super cute for your decor. I also got this welcome sign. Let's see if I can get it off. They like to twist, but it says welcome. 
in these little hearts. Um, I probably will be doing something completely different with these, honestly. I don't like how they turn all the time because I'm very OCD, and if they're turned the wrong way and you can't read it, it would drive me absolutely bonkers. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet, but stay tuned because I'm sure we'll make a DIY on that as well. This is one of my favorite things, um, and this will also be on a DIY video soon, but you guys, look at these adorable little creatures. Um, I don't even know what they're going to consider this, but I mean, it is like a wall decor that a little girl can put inside of her bedroom and decorate it for Valentine's Day um, or really anytime because they're super cute. But I wanted to show you kind of what an idea that I had. Now, Dollar Tree also has these little chocolate boxes, okay, that fit perfectly right here, right where that other heart is. It fits perfectly. Y'all see that? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to be making these as little gifts for my friend's little girls, okay? So I picked up this little uh, chocolates that match. Um, I also, here I'll show you this one too. I got this koala bear and the closest one that I could find to the color was this one. So I picked up this little chocolate right here and it's gonna look like they're holding the box of chocolates, you guys. What I'm gonna do though is I have these, this is uh, 12 balloon sticks from the Dollar Tree. I will not be using the balloon part, but the sticks I'm gonna glue onto the back to kind of make them look like a lollipop or something that they can hold. Um, and then putting saran wrap over the top of it to make it look like a lollipop as well. Um, so these are gonna be super cute and easy DIY and craft that you can make for anyone's kids. Your grandkids will just think it's so special. You know, your children, whoever, but I love those signs. So make sure to pick up a bunch of those with some chocolates that match. I also picked up, I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit faster because I know that this video is taking forever, but I did get these two signs as well from the Dollar Tree. I mean, my goodness, they are really going crazy this, this I mean the, this season between Christmas and Valentine's Day is the most decor I've ever seen in the Dollar Tree but this one says kissing booth 25 cents per kiss and I love how it looks like a ticket so cute and then again with a gnome xoxo um you guys I'm gonna have signs like everywhere so if I have three more items, but if you've never been to a Dollar Tree Plus, you need to look one up in your area or whatever's closest to you because you will not regret it, you guys. Um, a Dollar Tree Plus normally has like uh, anywhere from, it's they're just more than a dollar, but they never go above five. Five dollars is the max inside of there. It's normally three to five dollars, uh, but they have amazing items. So this is the first one I'm gonna show you, you guys. Um, this is like one of the ones that you can put on your front porch right in front of your door and it says XOXO, but look at this, you guys. Like, look how big this is. I hope I don't even like hit the sign. It says XOXO, it says Be My Valentine, it has hearts on the bottom. It does have this rim right here. Now, obviously these are a little bit more flimsy than what you're gonna get inside of, you know, a Hobby Lobby or something like that. But you guys, I had mine for Christmas and with this, it keeps it from bowing. Um, so I absolutely love these. This is a four 48 inch sign. So this is really, really big. I love it. And my two favorite, because like I told you, I absolutely love gnomes, are these two gnomes. They were $3 a piece at my uh, the Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree Plus store. Um, these are pretty big. I mean, look at them up to me, but I thought they were so adorable. They do have a metal piece inside the hat in order to keep it, um, you know, you can twirl it if you want to, but to keep it upright. And they have the beans in the bottom. So sometimes you kind of got to work them to make sure that they set up completely straight. Um, but this one does have, um, it's, it's like a plush too. It's not a bead. So this one's got like a, a blackish brownish beard. And then this one has like the white beard and he's holding up the little envelope. So I just thought these were so cute. So if you've never been to a Dollar Tree Plus, I highly recommend it. I had the best time at Christmas shopping in there, um, but even all their things for a dollar is amazing, you guys. Um, but this is all I have for you. I know it is a ton. It probably is just like, ah, I need to get to the Dollar Tree right now. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel when I watch some of these videos. But I hope you have fun shopping. Make sure that you comment below on if you decorate for every single holiday. And I look forward to hearing from y'all. If you have, you know, stumbled across me for the first time, 
This is me. It's raw. I don't know how to edit. We have so much fun here. I love you. You're beautiful. Make sure to hit that subscribe button um, and the bell so that you're notified every single time that I post a video and make sure to like this video. It just makes me so happy. It makes me smile. So y'all have a great night and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Happy shopping.